Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a quick instruction video on how to bet leveling Solver SV07. There are two mounting setups that come with this printer. The printer comes with a spring and adjustable leveling nut pre installed and parts for solid mounting. We are going to first do a spring nut setup, then the solid mounting setup. This instruction may not get you the perfect first layer on the first try, but it should be lead you the right direction if you are a beginner. Since the bed leveling process is a bit of confusing on this printer, and the instruction on manual is confusing too. It is worth to mention that my printer is a pre-order unit. Sovo might make an update on framework and provide better instruction steps on menu on a later shipment. Now, before you do the bed leveling, be sure you get a basic calibration done. Those calibration including eccentric knot adjustment on X, Y, and Z axis, and belt tension adjustment. I also highly recommend doing a Z alignment on the left and right side. There is a future to compensate for that, but I do believe manually adjusting it to better condition will greatly improve the result. Now, let's get started. We are going to do the spring leveling knot version first. Step 1. Adjust all four leveling knots counterclockwise to max tension low. This will compress the spring and bring the printer back closer to the base. Release all the leveling knots and roughly two turn clockwise to leave a room for later adjustment. Step 2. Heating the nozzle and printer back to get a closer condition to actual printing. You can select preheat PLA on the menu or manually input a number like I did. Since the nozzle and bed are normally expand due to a higher temperature, we can now home in all X, Y, Z axis and get a cup of tea, wait for temperature to kick on. Step 3. Select machine leveling from the main menu. Select Z tilt from the upcoming screen. Machine will start moving left to right a couple of times to compensate for uneven height from the hot end to the printer bed. Step 4. Select Z Calibrate to manually add Z axis compensate. You will need a letter paper to complete this step. Select Star. Printer will be home again. Place letter paper on the nozzle and select 1 moving distance on the bottom of the screen. Reduce the number as the nozzle gets closer to the paper. Gradually lower nozzle by smaller moving distance. You will start feeling a grip from nozzle as you are moving paper back and forth. The grip should not be fully stop paper from moving around. Raise nozzle if necessary. After you feel a bit of light catch from nozzle, click Accept to save the setting. Printer will reboot and store your setting. Step 5. Make sure you heat out the nozzle and bed after printer reboot. Select bed leveling under the same menu. Touch left lower corner as first point. Place letter paper on the nozzle again. Adjust the leveling knot to find the same feel when you are moving the paper on the step 4. Selecting in a sequence of right lower corner, right upper corner, and lastly left upper corner to adjust the leveling knot. I would suggest doing this couple of rounds. You will realize that there will be less adjustment needed in each round of this process. Then select screw adjust. Screen will start display how many adjustments you need, but only skip on the lower left corner since it is reference point. After three corner adjustment were done, select screw adjust again. It will display a new value again. Adjust accordingly for a few more rounds. There is no necessary to get all the reading to zero. A close value like this should be good enough. All zero readings are tricky to get, but it didn't really add a whole lot of value to entire torrenting. Click bottom right corner to back to last menu. Step 6. Select bed mesh and select calibrate on the upper right corner. Printer will start doing automatic bed leveling. It will display the compensate value after processing complete. Save the configuration and wait for it to reboot. Let's take a look. You can see there is still quite a lot of deviation after all the passes, but it should be work fine. Step 7 will be a great chance to test print the first layer file that comes with a printer on a USB drive. 
As you can see, after the whole process, the first layer is not perfect yet. You may want to adjust the leveling knob a bit more, but for me, I'll call it acceptable. Now let's jump to the solid mounting option. Some people might prefer a solid mount, since so will include a kit with a package. You can replace it if you like. I suggest measuring out the spacer with a caliper, since it is a very stiffer plastic material. There is not much of a room for adjustment after you put it on. At least recording the number you will know if you need to place them in a different corner, fixing the uneven height later on. As you can see, my spacer is a bit different height, but I am not going to trim it down today. After replacing it with a solid mount, we can start doing bed leveling. First, heating nozzle and a bed to the temperature. Then, select machine leveling from home page. Select Z tilt. Next, get a letter paper and select Z calibrate under the same menu. Place paper under the nozzle and lower the nozzle gradually. Decrease the travel distance as the nozzle gets closer to the bed. When you feel a slight gripping from the nozzle to the paper, you can reduce the travel distance and save setting by hitting accept. Printer will reboot. Be sure to hit the nozzle and the bed again after reboot. Then select bed mesh. Select calibrate on the upper right corner. Printer will start measuring the compensate value for the entire build play. Confirm to store a setting. Let's take a look of the mesh value. It looks like the mesh is off on two opposite side corners. But when I redo the mesh again, I got a very different value. This is interesting. But let's run the first layer test print again. I further run the calibrate a few more times it all gets different value again, but I managed to get one of the calibration that works for me. Is it something to do with the solid spacer? Maybe, but the auto bed leveling feature should compensate for it as long as it's not over its limit. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with your result, you can take the spacer out and trim it down to the same height and redo the entire process again. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.